Well, we had a number of good moments in spite of, uh, of the uh, complex environment in which we, we operated. Uh, first of all, we had a timely adoption of the budget and that allowed us uh, to uh, work effectively from the beginning of the year. I would also say that we had uh, a number of uh, opportunities for uh, ministers to engage, certainly political attention for uh, the issues on the agenda of the organization, the way the organization uh, um, operates uh, has increased. We have seen ministers engaging uh, in informal uh, setups in, uh, in Helsinki at the time of the uh, commemoration of the 40th anniversary. We have had a very interesting informal meeting with ministers in uh, New York in the margins of the General Assembly discussing the future of OSCE peace of operations. Uh, we had also a very good informal debate among ministers in, uh, uh, in Belgrade uh, during, uh, during the ministerial in a side event and uh, I think this will continue next year. Uh, so this uh, stronger uh, political attention uh, will certainly allow the OSC to continue operating in this difficult space. Well, the major challenge, uh, I would say, was the uh, persisting deep divisions within the organization. These divisions have uh, obviously affected the relationship uh, among the participating states. Uh, they have affected also their ability to uh, uh, move forward in terms of uh, uh, agreements on decisions and we've seen that very clearly at the Ministerial uh, Council in, in Belgrade, where a number of documents uh, on which uh, uh, it seems to me there was a large convergence of uh, uh, of ideas and opinions uh, were in fact uh, uh, blocked um, because of those uh, uh, differences, because of those divisions. So it is, it is a phase in which we have to uh, address, with, address uh, uh, violations of the principles uh, uh, but also find ways um, to move ahead uh, in spite of that and to have uh, more dialogue uh, as opposed to uh, uh, monologues uh, in, the, in the organization. Uh, it would be a message of uh, encouragement uh, to uh, um, uh, recognize and use the strengths of this organization. Uh, first of all, the people of the OSC, the men and women that work for our organization, are extremely committed. Uh, they're a great asset uh, for all of us. And uh, there is a potential uh, uh, that is untapped in my way, in my opinion. And, uh, uh, and I would like to encourage participating states to, uh, uh, to use that, uh, to give us the resources we need uh, also to uh, maximize the input that we can uh, uh, provide. And, uh, and with this opportunity, I would like also to wish to participating states, but also to uh, all staff of the organization, uh, all the best for uh, the upcoming holidays and looking forward to a, a new year uh, where we will, yes, have challenges, but we will also have opportunities to contribute to overcome those uh, uh, challenges. And I really uh, uh, hope that everybody will uh, take this opportunity in a constructive manner and uh, uh, um, uh, contribute to uh, creating a better environment for all of us.